Chemtrails, A Line in the Sky, produced by Mick Chester. What is the difference between a jet contrail and a chemtrail? According to the United States Air Force, jet contrails form above 33,000 feet when hot engine exhaust momentarily condenses into ice crystals into a pencil-thin vapor trail that quickly vanishes like the weight beyond a boot. Chemtrails do look like contrails once they have been sprayed but they are much thicker and extend across the sky and often laying down in various patterns of X's, tic-tac-go grids, cross lines, and parallel lines. Instead of quickly dissipating, chemtrails expand into fake Cyrus type of clouds. These linger. One of the big questions is, well, who's doing the spraying? Witnesses have documented and photographed military KC-135s and KC-10s in white unmarked jets. Also, airport personnel and pilots have also confirmed commercial airliners to be leaving long-lasting chemtrails. Well, what's in the chemtrails and why are they spraying us? We wish we knew. There are only a few planes in the world that have the equipment to analyze the spray mix and could get the CT altitudes. Clearance must be obtained to fly into trails and money must be raised for the $22,000 per day plane rental fee. In some reports, there has been a polymer type of material falling from the sky that looks like a spider web. Now, these tests have came back positive for beranium, aluminum, and other type of heavy metals, salt, viruses, and sometimes blood pathogens. The EPA will not confirm any account. What do the government say about chemtrails? No government agency of any country will confirm that spraying is active or occurring. Most often, requests are ignored. United States Air Force has explained that they routinely dump fuel over populated areas to reduce weight prior to landing. More recently, the Environmental Protection Agency, or EPA, states that it may be pesticide spraying. Generally, officials explain it a ways not to. Why do you think cirrus clouds in the sky aren't real? Cirrus clouds are high altitude clouds formed above 20,000 feet and consist of ice crystals. They precede a storm or they are in a jet stream. Cumulus clouds are formed in lower altitudes, 6,500 to 20,000 feet. These two cloud formations are seen together at lower altitudes of 9,000 to 15,000 feet in extreme drought conditions. This goes against the law of nature. Also, scientific is the white ground haze can be seen from horizontal to horizontal with blue clouds overhead. How long has spraying occurred? Cloud books confirm tests have been conducted since 1960s. Old photographs show chemtrails dating to the early 70s. Studies increased throughout the 80s, 1980s. Since 1998, chemtrails have skyrocketed.